Hello, my name is Ula. I've been teaching variety of fitness classes for over 35 years, and I've been often asked if I would do a video. Here is our, my first one. It's a lovely combination of yoga and resistance training. It is a little bit, um, uh, it's more intermediate level. Um, so listen to your body. I will be showing some modifications, and uh, nothing should ever hurt. Only do what feels comfortable for you. We'll start with the active warm up and then we'll start with some yoga poses and add resistance uh, training in between. Let's get started. You should have your mat ready and your set of weights. Take a deep breath in, inhale, bring your hands heart centered as you exhale to the standing mountain pose. You can take a break anytime. Breathing in and out through your nose, starting with the active warm up, opening your arms, fingers are wide open, retracting the shoulder blades, big circles, Allow your breath flow. And if you're ready, adding a squat by pushing your body weight back to the heels. Creating some heat through the body before we get into our poses. At the lowest point of your squat, you should be able to lift your toes up. Always paying attention to your alignment. I'll cue you through the class. Breath in and a breath out. Big range of motion for four more times. And three more. Last two. And the last one. Bring your hands to your hips, take it into the squat. Active spine, pulling your belly button towards your spine as you slowly will roll up. Bring your shoulders down and back, your ear shoulders, hips in the same line. Follow the breath in, inhale. Exhale, hands heart centered. And again, hands by the hips and roll up. Pull the belly button in, shoulders down and release. Follow the breath in, inhale. Exhale, hands heart centered. If you're ready, you can leave your arms further out, a little bit further forward. Slowly roll up, pull the belly button in, supporting your spine, shoulders down and back, follow the breath in, inhale, exhale, hands heart centered, and again, further forward, bend, knees are soft, roll up, creating some, creating some heat through your hamstrings, open the arms, and again, forward bend. Roll up, pull the belly button in, build your spine. Shoulders down and back, follow the breath in. Exhale, hands heart centered. And one more time. Inhale, roll, shoulders down, reach up. Exhale, hands heart centered. This time, forward bend. Half forward bend, inhale, your spine perfectly straight, top of the head pointing forward. Stay or exhale, bring your hands closer to your feet. Bend in your knees, active stretch through your hamstrings. Relax your neck, top of the head pointing down and towards the mat. And release, keeping your knees soft. Roll up again one more time, and we get ready. Shoulders, release back, follow the breath in, inhale. Exhale, hands heart centered. Setting your intentions for today's practice, for your, today's workout. Crossing your hands, index fingers together. Palms gently pressed up, press together, reach and lengthen. Lengthen your spine, and reaching your index fingers towards the right side of the body. Try to keep your upper arms locked to your ears, half moon to your right, back centered, lift and lengthen. Bring your index fingers towards your left, rotate your left armpit forward. Back centered. You can stay your half moon back, pressing your hips further forward. 
If it bothers your back, keep your hands in the small of your back. Feel a lengthening in front of the body. Open your arms, release. Bring your arms through and under. Take it into the half squat. Body weight is back on the heels. From here, allow your ribs to come rest into your cordyceps. Fingers pointing forward. Finding strength through your lower body. You can stay on level three. Look up ahead into the tiny chair. Feel the strength through your lower body here, looking straight ahead. You're able to lift your toes up. Bring your hands all the way down. Inhale into the half forward bend. Stay or exhale, full forward bend. Feel the lengthening on the backs of the legs. Bend your knees. Hands cordyceps and roll up slowly. If you feel dizzy, take longer time in the transition. Follow the breath in, inhale. Exhale, hands heart center. Reaching, crossing your hands, index fingers together, reach and lengthen. This time, reach your index fingers to your left. Rotate, rotating your left armpit forward. Feel lengthening on the right side of the body. For most of us, this is a very small range of motion. Back centered, reach and lock, reach in the chest. Index fingers to your right, rotate. Back centered. Again, you can stay or exhale into the half moon back. This should not hurt your back. Looking up towards the ceiling, your ears and your upper arms connected. Back centered. Opening the arms. Half squat, level one. Level two. Remember, higher the number, more challenging it is. You're doing this just for yourself. Level three, tiny chair, looking ahead. Find the strength through your shoulders. Bring your hands all the way down. Inhale into the half forward bend. Exhale, full forward bend. Bring your forehead a little bit closer towards the shins than last time. Feel the lengthening on the backs of the legs as you relax your shoulders. Coming up, you can bend the knees and roll up or straighten your legs, level two, arms wide open, reverse swan dive. Follow the breath in, inhale, exhale, hands heart centered. Reaching up, inhale. Opening arms, swan dive or hands right by the hips. All the way down, bend the knees if necessary. Inhale, half forward bend. Exhale, full forward bend. Your weights are right beside you. You're ready for your first resistance portion. Bending the knees, contract your core. Keep your weights close to your body. Retracting your shoulder blades, lifting your legs. Your body weight is back. You're doing eight repetitions. Roll back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Holding up. You can continue or try to kick back. Narrow, then wide. Narrow and wide. You do as many repetitions as feels comfortable for you. I'm doing eight. You've done four. This is your sixth. Seven. Working your rhomboids, triceps. And the last one. Bring your weights up. Gently. Stepping your right leg back. Right heel pressing actively back. Your left knee and heel in the same line. Looking ahead. Arms hover. Lift all the way up. 
lowering your hips, left knee and heel staying wide. Open the arms into the strong forward warrior. You feel your right hip flexor. Hands heart center. Pinching forward. Tricep kick back one way or both. If you do one, it is your right arm. Pull shoulder blades back. Eight. Two sets. Shoulders away from your ears. Almost done the first set. Starting your second set. Keep those elbows way up and back. You have six more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your right foot closer in. Foot down, left knee bent. Rotate shoulder blades, palms facing up. Bicep curls, two sets. You notice your heart rate going up a bit. I'm getting a little out of breath here. It is a workout. Seven, eight, your first set is done. Eight more. Keep your shoulders, hips in the same line. Last six. Light grip. Four more. And three. Last two. Whew, this is hard. And you should have felt those repetitions. Hinge forward, lower, one day at a time. Pushing that right heel further back. Your right leg is straight. Come back up. Hands heart centered. Rotating right toes slightly out. Opening the arms. And exhale into the side warrior. As you're looking past your left fingertips, left knee and heel in the same line. Straighten your left leg. Hinge from your hips. You can stay or triangle. Bring your left hand right by your left foot. You can look up or you can look straight ahead. Ideally, both legs are straight. You can stay or revolve. Right hand by the left foot. Turn and look back. And then if you want, open your left arm. If your hamstrings are tight, you can bend your left knee. Left hand fully, right hand fully rooted. Bending your left knee. Bring your right, left hand back. Bring your back up. Left knee and heel, same line. Backward warrior. Slide your right hand along the leg. Lift. Level one. Level two. Allow your hips sink further forward, but not letting your knee going past the toes. Level three. Open your chest. Bring your knuckles against the back. You can look up. From here, lower your left lower arm, right by the quadriceps, and then quadricep and open your chest to your right. More challenge. Bring your right arm, upper arm and ear in the same line. Stabilize for your core for level two and your level three. Left knee and heel, same line, working through your core into the right extended right angle pose, opening the chest. You can look up or look straight ahead. Both feet fully grounded. A little bit more advanced, extended right angle pose, finding right knuckles against the back, left shoulder, right private knee. And then if you can, slide that arm under and back, Binding your fingers, working through your left hip. You can always go back to the previous. And release. Bring your hands right by your left foot. Rotating right toes under and back, and then bring your left hands directly under your shoulders. Strong plank. Exhale into your first downward dog. 
feet hip width apart, lengthening through the spine, listen to your breath. You can stay here or rest in child's pose any time. Active range of motion, working through your core, shoulders, plank. Stay or dip, lift, exhale back. Breathing through, dip. Try not to let your spine sway. Doing eight of these. If you dance three, you can do the same thing on your knees. Working through your shoulders, triceps, chest, your core. We have three more to go. Just keep that good form. Elbows come right by the ribs. Last active. Dip, lift, and listen to your breath, downward dog. If you don't like to go into your stomach, you can stay on all fours. Those who want, come to the plank, chaturanga, hold and hover. Chest down first, hips follow, hands under shoulders, lifting your head up level one, upward dog level two. Shoulders away from your ears. You can press the tops of the feet against the mat. Shoulders away from your ears. This should not hurt your back. Knees down, stretch and exhale back. You can stay and rest. Or active child's pose. Come to the plank. Pushing the glutes back, bend the knees back to the strong plank, and again, six more times, keeping your core strong, squeeze the glutes here, feel those triceps, chest, shoulders, we have four more, that is four, and three, last two active, and the last one, This time you can walk forward, or if you feel comfortable, jump. Inhale into the half forward bend. Exhale into the full. Trigger swan dive, coming back up. Your core is strong. Follow the breath in, inhale. Exhale, hands heart centered. Opening the arms. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, half forward bend. Exhale, full forward bend. Repeating the same thing. Left leg is your leading leg back. Roll the left toes under. Right knee and heel. Always work with your pose. Arms hover. Looking ahead, strong line. Lift up, find your center balance. Dip your hips, pushing your left heel, right knee and heel. Open the arms into the strong forward warrior. Reaching your fingertips further up, feeling your left hip flexor. Bring your hands heart centered. Hinge further forward. Taking your weights. Again, abs are tight. If you're doing one arm, it is your left arm. Pull those shoulder blades back. Two sets of eight, three, looking ahead, four more of your first set, and last eight, here it is, eight, seven, six, five, squeeze the shoulder plates back, lower arm moves, last two, and the last one, bring that left foot closer in, fully rooted, Right knee bend, two sets of eight, bicep curls. Heart rate going up. You can hear your breathing increase. Two sets, light grip, open those fingers. We have eight more to go here. Eight, control on the way up and on the way down. I think we have four more. Four, 
three, last two, and the last one. Elbows in, left foot goes further back, lower your weights gently. Arms hover, come up, hands heart centered. Rotating your left toes up, open the arms. Same sequence of stretching or poses. Exhale, looking past your right fingertips. Side warrior. Extend the leg. Hinge forward. You can stay or triangle. This time bring your right hand right by your right foot. You can look up towards your left fingertips. Revolve. Left hand, open and right. This time you see the poses from the back. Bending the right knee. Windmill up. Slide your left hand along the leg. Lift your right fingertips up. Level one, level two, back to backward warrior. Align your hips in further forward. Feel the lengthening and the line along the right side of the body. More challenge. Opening the chest. And bring your left, right elbow, right by the right quadricep as you open your chest. Then add your arm. Left arm, upper arm in the same line as your ear. Level two. And your level three. Activating your core. Extended right angle pose. pose. Left press the elbow against the knee, opening the chest. Looking up if you want. And again, you can just stay here if you want, or bring your knuckles back, left, and your right shoulder right by the right knee. Reaching that arm through and under and by. Try not to force through anything. Nothing should hurt or restrict your breathing. With the exhalation, allow your body to sink deeper. Release. Hands by your right foot. Bring your right leg back. Plank. Heels of the hands in the same line to your shoulders. Exhale into the downward dog. Listen to your breath. Active range of motion, plank, option to stay, or dip half chaturanga, exhale back. Remember eight of these at your own pace, always. As many repetitions as you want. Allow your breath to flow. Exhale. We have three more to go. Keep that strong core. Last two active. Last one. Exhale. Just take a brief moment here or stay longer. Blank. Chaturanga. Lower. Chest. Hips. Head up only or exhale, arms right by the ribs, upward dog, back extension, not for everyone, knees down, push the glutes back, exhale, lengthen under, under feel the lengthening under the arms, look up the head plank, active child's pose, shoulders, chest, triceps, core, eight of these. We have four more, and three. Last two, last active. From here, jump or walk. Inhale, half forward bend. 
Exhale, full forward bend. Lifting your head up, straight legs, strong core, arms wide open. Reverse swan dive. Follow the breath in, inhale. Exhale, hands heart centered. Stepping your feet wide apart. Bending that left knee. Take your one leg from here. Pulling the elbow up, roll back. Again, working your lat and roll voice. Knee never passes the toes. You're doing eight of these. You have four more. Now you can continue with this. I'm gonna take it up a notch by adding a balance to it. From here, you're gonna pull the leg, bring your feet together, lift the knee, then big step back. Again, up and lift. Balance, reach, but not locking the elbow. Elbow, elbow comes shoulder height. Lift, four more. Let's do this. Up four and three. Concentrate on your form. Last two. And the last one. Up. Lower. And switch your hand. Bending the right chest. Elbow. Slightly bend here. Pull it back for eight. Squeeze the shoulder blade back as you lift the elbow. Again, heart rate is up. You're working through large muscle groups. Last two. You can continue. Or first one, slow, find your balance. Knee and lift, then big step. Up, lower, lift, lower. Four, and three. Find your pace, two more. Find your balance. Last one, up and lower. Bring that, bend the knees, bring your weights right in front. Find that other weight. Knees, toes, hips, same direction. Walk your feet a little bit closer. Back fly. Contract your abs. Elbows slightly bent. Open the arms and center. Looking slightly up and ahead. Instead of letting your head down, how many do you think you want to do this? I think we can do two sets of eight. Almost done one set. That's it. Starting your second set. Are you squeezing those shoulder blades? Are your abs tight? Are your knees bent? Last four, four, and three, last two, and the last one. Beautiful, bring your one leg down, and the other. From here, hands down, walk your feet further, and leaving your toes and heels out. Your heels of the hands are right under your shoulders, right hand rooted. Head is at the same level as your heart. Turn to your left. Stay or open. Left arm. You have a straight line from the left fingertips to the right heel of the hand, from top of the head to your tailbone. Center and switch. Open your right. Centered. A little more advanced. Bring your hands to the same line, line as your feet. And then if you want, you can work with your pose. Walk your feet wider, twice the edges of the mat. Feet are still rooted. Bend your knees. And firm grip, pointing your fingers going on to the sides of the feet. Exhale as you look through and under. Or you can still just have your hands resting on the mat. Feel the lengthening on the back of the legs into the inner thighs. 
I love this stretch. Lifting your head up, bring your hands right under your shoulders. Walking your feet a little closer together and start the rotation facing forward. Changing your weights here, so you have one on each side of the mat. Just on the edges of the mat. Hands by your right left foot, bring your left leg back. Hands directly under your shoulders. You're in a strong plank, starting another core strengthening portion of, of the class. Exhale into the downward dog. Again, if you don't like to go into your stomach, stay on all fours of child's pose. Come to the plank. I'm doing eight dips here. Narrow. Eight. Seven. Six. And five. Keep your core strong. Contract your quadriceps. Two more. Feel those triceps. Last one. Now hold and hover. Hover, breathe, chest down, and hips. Working through your muscles along the spine. Hands under your shoulders, lifting your head up. From here you can add, getting into the locust. If you want, add your low levers. And your level four, cross your hands back, rotate shoulder blades, and lift. Breathe. Feel the contraction along the spine, glutes and hamstrings. And release. Hands right under your shoulders. Bring your right foot in. You can do one leg at a time, bow, or firm grip. And then your left, firm grip. Knees hip width apart. Inhale. Exhale and start pushing your feet against your hands. Knees stay hip width apart as you lift. Push your feet further against your hands. Cordyceps hip flexors. Breathe. If you're doing one leg, switch. Press it further back. Lift your chest up higher. Everybody's back extension is different. I barely have any. And now release. Exhale, hands to the edges of the mat, your little fingers are hovering. Reversing wide push up onto the knees or roll the toes under, contract your quadriceps. Lift, bring your hands back right under your shoulders. You can go onto your knees or on all fours. Bring that one weight in. Start with your right arm. More advanced. Feet a little bit wider. Left heel of hands in line. Pull for eight, seven. Now we are multitasking. Core, chest, tricep, rhomboid. Last four, three, two. Rest or continue or pull up combination. Kick back in lower. Try to keep your hips square. Six more to go. Last four, you can do it. Keep that upper arm right by the ribs here. Last two. Whew. Last one. And release. Gently, knees down. You're going to switch over to the other side. Whew. Right hand, right under your shoulder. Stay on the knees. Or feet a little bit more than the hip with the mark bar. Eight, seven, keep your glutes lower than your heart. Keep your head up. Four, three, two, you can continue or add the kickback. Kickback, tricep. How is your core? Last five, four more. Four, three, Last two, you can do it. Remember the good form. Last one. And release. Knees gently down. Still working on that core. Release the spine first on all fours. Bring the belly button in. Cat pose. Release into the cow pose. Shoulders away from your 
ears. Control straight on your spine. From here, roll those toes under again. Find that strong plank. Lifting your right leg up into the three-legged dog. Your ears in the same line. Opening your hip by bringing your right heel towards your left glute. You can look under your right armpit. If you feel comfortable, lower that right leg right to the edge of the mat. Your feet are now hip-width apart, the heel of the hand, left heel of the hand in the same line. Hips are up. Now open that right arm. Beautiful. Obliques. Turn, look straight ahead and bring that right leg into a strong side plank. You can always bend the left knee and keep it on the mat. Now find your balance. Side, three pose. Breathe. Keep that form. Bring your right hand down. Left, right toes. Extend the leg. Strong line. Eight extension. Leg extensions. Last four. Three, two, one. Rest if you want. Otherwise, mountain climber. Center. Same elbow, same knee. Center. Opposite. Rotation. Again, three more of these. Tuck. Keep your head up higher than your heart. Okay, you've got two more to go. You can do it. Almost there. One more. Always good form. Right. Rest if you need. Tuck in. Extension back. Three-legged dog. And pull that knee right under your belly button. Right knee. Now pull the left knee right behind your right. If your hips allow, wiggle your way back in between your two lower legs. Or you can just go into your regular pigeon pose. Spine straight. Rotation, open twist to your left. You have a straight line from the top of the head to your tailbone. Center. Close twist, pressing that left lower arm against the knee. Closer you bring your right hand to your spine and pressing down, more it forces you to straighten your spine. Back center, you can stay stretching through your right glute as you start hinging forward. Working your lower arms down, however far it feels comfortable for you. If you can, try to find your chin onto, onto your right knee. Feeling a stretch through your right glutes, right into the piriformis. Exhale. Deeper into that stretch. Lifting your head up palms forward and guess what you're gonna do the same sequence again and come to the strong plank breathing strength exhale into the downward dog and lifting that left leg up into the three-legged dog from here bending your left lower leg you can look through and under your left armpit actively pressing your right heel towards the mat and then if you feel comfortable, bring that left foot right to the edge of the mat. Rotate, right heel and hand in the same line. Open the arm and lift the hip. Look up. Look straight ahead. Go to the strong side plank. Make sure you lift that, keep that hip up. Feel free to bend your right lower leg. You can stay or bring that foot, left foot, and open into the tree, side tree pose. Left hand down, lower, 
Extend the left leg. Extension for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hug your heels of the hands right under shoulders. Okay, mountain climber, tuck. Same elbow, same knee, tuck. Do the extension in between, rotation. We have three more to go. Pull. Strong core exercises. Rotation. Two more. That's it. Keep your head higher than your heart. Heart rate going up again. Breathing increases. I think that was the last one. Rotation. Back center. Extend. And we start bringing that left knee right under. Pull the right knee back. Lower legs. Wiggle your bum in between. Release that calf muscle. And then straighten. Work with your pose, your shoulders. Same line, open to your right. Look past your right shoulder. Your spine perfectly straight. Allow your breathing settle. Center, close twist. Pressing that right lower arm. Spine straight. Looking past your left shoulder. Center. From here, hinge forward. Trying to bring your chin against your left knee. Binding. You can stay higher up or wherever you feel the stretch on your left glute. You can always take it to the traditional pigeon pose if this is not for you. With the exhalation, allow your body to sink deeper. Lifting your head up. Shifting your weight back as you bring your feet to the front. Starting your last portion, core combined with your upper body. Heels on the floor, knees are bent. Bring your weights closer in. You don't even need the weights if you don't want. Abs are tight, bring your weights away from the chest. Keeping your chest up, rotation with your shoulders side to side. Two sets of eight, that is three, four. Keep your chest up, try not to let that spine go into the C curve. Almost on your first set, starting your second one. Eight, seven, six, five. Don't lose your four, last four. Three, two, last one. Chest up, come up. Weights gently right beside you. Straighten your legs, flex your feet, seated forward bend, inhale. Exhale as you hinge forward. Hands here or peace fingers wrap around your big toes. Pulling the toes closer towards your shins. Elbows sinking lower. You feel a lengthening on the backs of the legs. Again, okay, none of these exercises should hurt your back. If do, back off from the exercise, go to the previous. Straighten your spine. Heels again on the floor. Spine straight. You're gonna work biceps and your anterior deltoid with one weight only. Bring it just above your chest. You lean as far back as you want, but no C curve. Chest up. Here we go. Curl, lift, curl, lift. I think we can do two sets. You wanna do this? Please, by all means, listen to your body at all times. Lift. Starting your second set of eight here. That is eight. Lift. Seven. Lift. Six. 
That's it. I have a feeling in your core. Last four. Last three. Last two. And the last one. Lift. Come up. And then bring your weight back beside you. Legs straight. This time pointing toes. Inhale. Here, hinge forward. Either hands by the under the calves or point binding, holding your four fingers under and exhale as you bring your forehead towards your knees. You feel it through your lower back more. With each exhalation, go to sink deeper. And release. Coming back. Knuckles right by your glutes. Bring your glutes closer to the feet. Bring the bottoms of your feet together. Release through your hips. Going into the butterfly pose. Fingertips pointing towards your glutes. Work your lower arms down one at a time. And then you're feeling your spine along your head come down to the mat. Your arms resting along the side of the mat, your chin tucked in. This is your butterfly pose. It's a relaxation pose. You can stay with this if you want. Those who want, we are continuing core, hamstrings. Bring your feet a little bit closer, knees closer together. Feel the fingertips, tips touching backs of the heels. Pressing your hips up. You feel the back of the head on the mat. You feel your shoulder plates. Lift the hips up. Bridge. You can also bind your, your hands on your ankles. From here, lowering your glutes back down. Lifting your legs up, hands resting on your shins. You can stay or lift your head up. As soon as you lift your head up, you feel the contraction of your core. Now you can start lowering your legs until your fingertips meet the knees. Active range of motion. Exhale and lift. Inhale as you lower. Seven more. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, last active, this time hold, opening the arms, palms facing up, lift your chest up, breathe. The tips of the shoulder blades are just barely touching your mat. Stabilize your core. If you feel comfortable, with your core strength, contract your quadriceps as you lower your legs, tucking the chin, look, chin look up to past your toes. Breathing strength to your core and bring your legs back in. Holding behind your calves or peace fingers wrap around your big toes. Extend your legs or stay with the happy baby. And from here, opening legs, push the heels out. Chin tucked in. Back centered. A firm grip on your right, let go of your left. You can also just hold behind your calf. Bring your forehead towards your knee for level two, spider pose. Feel the neck in the back of the neck. From here, rest your left leg. Lower your head, let go. Your arms, shoulder blades firmly on the mat. Now you can bring the straight leg or bent leg or bind. Level three, keeping your right shoulder blade on the mat. Let it go. Stretching through the hip. And release, bending your right lower leg, back centered. Both feet on the mat. Find your weights that should be right beside you. And now lower your head back down. You can keep your feet flat or straighten your legs. Chest fly, open the arms, elbows are slightly bent. Weights go right above the chest. For more advanced, you can lower one leg and then you can lower the other leg. Or level three both. Two sets of eight, we've done already six. Again, if you start feeling your lower back, keep your legs closer. Start your second set, eight. And 
seven. Stay with a good form. Working through your chest, your pectorals. I think we have four more. Four. Last two. And the last one. In. Bring your feet flat. Stay your lift your hips up. Knuckles to the back wall. Chest press. Quick eight. Three. Four. Contract your hamstrings. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Knuckles in. And lower, lower your glutes, your weights right beside you again. Bridge, feel the fingertips touching back to the bed, lifting your hips up higher. Shoulder blades on the mat. Lower your glutes. Bring your knees towards your chest and straighten your legs, hands resting on your shins. Same as last time. Lifting head up for level one. Lower. Exhale, activation motion, inhale, two, three. Shoulder plates come off from the mat, four more, three, two, last one, lift up higher, and if you want, open your arms, lift in your chest up, look up towards your toes, and now feel the tip of your shoulder blades touching your mat, lower. Only as low as it feels comfortable for you. Looking past your toes, contract your quadriceps, your abs are tight. And hugging, happy baby, or firm grip. Straighten your legs, and from there, extension, inner thighs, hamstrings. Shin tapping. Release, this time let go of your right. Bring your forehead towards your left knee and you can keep pulling that leg further back. You can always rest that leg. Relax your right leg. Lower, open and stabilize your shoulder blades. Either bent leg or straight leg. Going over. You can also bind. Try to keep your left shoulder blade on the mat. Exhale. The palm, left palm facing down so you can stretch through your pectoral at the same time. Back centered. From here, cross your legs. Rock forward into the seated. Sitting how it's comfortable for you. Knuckles down, lift the tailbone up and away. Each word to pray on top of the other, breath in, inhale. Exhale, hands heart centered. Straight, strong spine. Abdominal breaths, open your arms, exhale. Inhale, belly goes forward. Empty your arms, empty your lungs as you exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more times. Breath in, inhale. And exhale. Last time. Breath in. In and out through your nose. Exhale. Open your arms. Breath in, inhale. Bring your hands heart centered as you exhale. Breath in. And exhale. You did a great job. I hope you enjoyed the workout. Don't forget to leave some comments, like and subscribe. See you again soon.